Hello everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. In today's video, we are going to solve problem number of good pair leaf nodes. The problem statement is we are given a root of a binary tree and an integer distance. A pair of different leaf nodes of a binary tree is said to be good if the length of the shortest path between them is less than or equal to the distance. For example, in this case, the leaf nodes are 4 and 3 and the distance between them is 3. So they are considered to be a good pair. Hence the answer is 1 in this case. Again, in this case, the good pairs are 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 as the distance between them is 2. 2 in each of these cases and we are given a threshold as 3. So these two qualify as good pair leaf nodes. Now let us see the same with the help of an example and here I am taking this is my tree. Now in this case we know that Okay, let us consider D, the distance to be 4 in this case. Now, if we consider these two pair, pair of 4 and 5, the distance, they pass through the node 2. So, when they are passing through the node 2, we can calculate the distance of 4 from the node 2 and the distance of 5 from the node 2. Both of them will come out to be 1 each. Now the addition of them is 2 which is smaller than the given threshold that is 4 so our answer is incremented. So we are able to find a pair 4 comma 5. Similarly when we are passing through the node 3 6 the distance of 6 is 1 from the uh, from the node 3 and the distance of 7 is again 1 from the node 3. The addition of both of these distances results in 2 which is smaller than D. So we are able to find another pair which is 6,7. Now when we are passing through the node 1, we could we could pair up 4 and 6, 4 and 7 and 5 and 6 and 5 and 7. So there are 4 possibilities and we have to check each of them. So we will be again calculating the distance of 5, distance of 4 from 1, the distance of 6 from 1 and then we will check that the the summation of these two distances should be smaller than 4 and then we will again check the distance of 5 from 1 and the distance of 6 from 1 and then we will calculate again so this is going to take big of n square if we try to calculate the distance each time so what instead we can do is when we are at leaf node we can simply pass 1 to the parent node so they both are passing 1 to the parent node and that is the distance of them from the parent node. So we know that the summation of both of these is, is smaller than the given distance. So we are incrementing our answer. Again, when the parent is going to pass to its parent, that is 1, it will be passing both of these because both of these are smaller than 4 and they can still be used. So we will be passing an array of 1 of uh, 2 comma 2 because this time the distance of them increase by one unit same with this side we will be passing 2 comma 2 from this side as well and now we are having two values uh, from the left hand side and two values from the right hand side we will try to pair each of them so let us say this is a this is b this is c this is d so we will try to pair up ac AD, BC and BD. We will see if each of them is, is smaller than the given distance D and accordingly we will increment the answer. Now when 1 is again going to pass to its parent it will be having values from both of these sides and again this 2 will be passed as 3, this 2 will be passed as 3. So we are just incrementing 1 and then passing on to its parent there is again an optimization into this when we are passing these distances by incrementing them uh, incrementing them by 1 we can ignore those values which are already exceeding 4 so for example let us say this is a node and from this side we are getting an a list uh, 1 5 and 6 from this side we are getting a list 2 2 and 3 
now when this node is passing to its parent it can ignore the values which are smaller than the distance so let us say d is given as 7 let us say d is given as 6 so this node is already 6 even if we pass it as 7 it could it could not be used further so we can ignore passing this this way we will slightly optimize our approach so 5 will be passed as 6 1 is going to be passed as 2 again 2 as 3 2 as 3 3 as 4 but we can ignore this 6 as it is going to cross the limit itself so now let us try to code this we are using a vector here to passing the list of the distances this is the function in this function we will be keeping a distance d and a root if the root is null we will be passing 0 if root is a leaf node so this is the condition for leaf node if we will be passing 1 now this is the vector which we obtain from the left hand side calling recursion to the left hand side this is not integer this is actually a vector vector of int so this is the left hand side this is the vector that we obtain from left hand side this is the vector that we obtain from right hand side now we will be going to each of the element and try to pair them up from the left to right auto a belongs to left and for each of this a we will be traversing the vector r now we will try to pair them up a plus b if it is smaller than or equal to the distance d we are going to increment our answer let us take the answer as global which is not a good practice but we can pass it as a reference also I am taking it as global here so we incremented the answer now once done with this we have to create a vector which we are going to return to our parent so we are at the current node and we are going to return to its parent a vector which will contain the distances of all of the nodes all of the leaf nodes so for auto a belongs to left if a is smaller than a plus 1 actually if a plus 1 is smaller than d then return dot pushback a plus 1 same with another vector for it to b belongs to right if b plus 1 is smaller than d then push it b plus 1 and then finally return this vector also when we are at a condition that the uh, one of the leaf is not a leaf node so in that case we will be getting 0 so we have to handle that as well if a is not 0 and b is not 0 here it should be a and and b why am i doing this because because uh, 4 will be getting two vectors one from left hand side which will contain a value 0 and another from right hand side which will contain the value 0 because these are the null values and null is going to return a vector which will contain 0 so in order to handle this one we are trying to eliminate this with the help of this condition now we just have to call this function 
passing the distance d and root and then we have to return answer let us try to run this it is giving a compilation error uh, there is no single in line number 17 if not root then we have to return this if roots left is equal to null and roots right is equal to equal to null one two one zero one one two one zero one it is giving us correct answer let us try to submit this so we are able to solve this question in big o of n space and big o of n time which is enough to pass the constraints which are given to us again the space i think we can consider it to be constant because the distance is given as 10 so if the distance is given as 10 we are already eliminating them so we are already eliminating those distances which are exceeding d we are not in, we are not incrementing it each time we are just eliminating those values which are so uh, once all the values are exceeds the distance d no matter how many nodes are there uh, which are inside the tree it is going to pass an empty vector so this is how we are handling the space and it will be a constant space as well as uh, it is also in, uh, optimizing the time because here we are using a for loop now for loop is taking elements from both left and right and had it been something which includes all the elements irrespective of the distance irrespective of the distance from a parent node we would make this answer as big of n square so in order to avoid that i am just excluding those elements let us try to see what happens if we if we, if we simply push instead of checking the condition so if we simply keep pushing we can just check the condition if that, that is not zero now that's the condition that we should check so this is the one we should be checking and the next one i'm ignoring now it is going to i think it should keep tle if the constraints are tight enough okay it is getting accepted as well uh, they could have made the constraints so that this gives tle anyways so this is it for the solution thank you